I got the idea for relevancy from a book review site I, I've had for 20 years. The default WordPress search at that time was, was abysmal. And I got another search plugin for it and it wasn't powerful enough. It kind of got stuck. There were too many posts. So I had thought, well, how hard can it be? And I forged my own. So I released it and after a few years I thought I could try selling it and I created the premium version and I'm doing pretty well with the premium version so that's the, that's the short story of, of how relevancy came to be. Relevancy is basically for everybody who has a content heavy site and needs a good search. If, if you have lots of, lots of content and, and want your users really to be able to find what they need, then relevancy is very useful. It takes over the default WordPress search and makes it better. Relevancy gives you good, accurate results and gives you a lot more versatility and configuration options so you can get more stuff into the search. You can adjust pretty much everything. You have full control. You can decide what goes in the index and what comes out and in which order. You can rearrange posts and you can get exactly the search experience you want. Our initial hosting was just very regular, big name hosting. Everybody's heard of the name. They had some kind of security issue. I don't know what it was. Probably someone at the same server had a leak somewhere. We had some hackers inject malware in our code. And that's, of course, something we can't, can't have. So we, we had to move to a better hosting. And now we are with Seravo and we are extremely happy with how they've done it. They, their focus on performance is, is amazing. The site is, is really fast all around the world and their support is excellent. And I like them because here at Ceravo they use green electricity. So it's really, really nice to have a hosting provider that, that shares these core values here. So they, they also care about the environment and, and the future in a very concrete way that matches our thinking. The continuous growth is hurtful for the planet, so we don't really go for that. We don't look for constant growth and growth and growth. We don't want to get more and more and more. We are pretty happy staying where we are. We had an offer to make a huge advertising campaign that would have doubled the number of our customers, but we turned that down because it just goes very much against our philosophy. We want to focus on quality, we want to focus on serving a smaller amount of customers better and to fight against the constant need for getting more and more and more. And we also put money where our mouth is and we've used quite a bit of money for charities. We support Plan International to, have, to help girls around the world get a better chance. And we also, also compensate our, our carbon footprint by donating money for swamps so that they can be used as, as carbon sinks. We are also doing that to compensate and offset the waste we cause. If you have values and they really don't hurt at all, then it's just an opinion. Usually if you have values and you follow them, then, then you really kind of have to suffer a bit for it. So we we have made choices. We don't travel by plane. We don't travel by boat. It would be nice to fly to European word camps and, and meet people and so on. But we can't have all these nice things and, and a future for our planet. So we're going for the future. <laughs>